Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys day 9 and 10's progression for the SSF Righteous Fire build. So yesterday we didn't, well I guess the day before yesterday we didn't really get much done. We are pretty much just thinking of what to do, uh, which is why I didn't really make a progression video. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into a map and show you what I've been doing. And then I'll go ahead and talk about all the changes that uh, are not changes, but like focuses that we're doing now. So... Uh, I could definitely be min-maxing and optimizing this a lot more, but for now I'm just putting ambush boxes because it helps with returns. So I'm running Legion, Expedition, and uh, more maps just to kind of like force the favored maps I want. The map Scarab does not need to really be used at all. Um, there's a lot of different Scarabs I could use for this purpose, but it's not too bad. And I'm also running Searing Exarch Altars now, mainly just to get a little bit of the currency to uh, roll some of my gear with better rolls. My mana we are spent. close to level 98. Uh, running Legion and Expedition can be kind of rippy sometimes, not gonna lie. Uh, along with full Essence. Essence is still pretty rippy just with all the different things that can happen. So some of the things we did in the past two days, we got our Uber Elder clear, which means we got four Watchstones. It was actually Deathless. It was very easy compared to what I remember. I guess just honestly being, I mean, everyone would be freeze immune, but not being stun immune and freeze immune, I think just makes the fight much easier because if you get clipped by something that hits hard, you can just like insta heal with Enduring Cry. So that's pretty comfy. I dropped another Cortex map yesterday, meaning that we can definitely get the Feared set up as well. Um, I actually have an invitation, so the only thing I really need to do, because I can do Alluring Abyss, is I need to do Harvest more to try to get an Emblem swap, or not an Emblem, but a, uh, a Breachstone swap. So ideally I can swap into a Chalupa Breachstone, and then we can run uh, Chalupa, and then we're pretty much ready for the Feared. So that's pretty awesome. And then try to get level 98 before that. Hello I promise again, this time people. I will not pick Immune to Fire. Uh, I have uh, read a little bit more in my time uh, doing some expedition. So I basically also... After I got my Legacy of Fury from Maven, I wanted to switch off my focus from bossing. I still want to boss, but I like leveling a lot more than bossing. Plus, bossing feels more satisfying, I feel, at level 100. Because um, I still want my Awakened Gems. But, I also really want to level to 100 because I hate dying and losing XP. It just makes it feel bad for me. So for now, we have pretty much removed majority of the bossing nodes off our Atlas. With the exception of these still, because I still want some Elder Guardian maps. I don't really know if it's worth it, because I could be specking in the quantity and some other things. Okay, what's this? Alright, Gwen, expedition time. What do we have here? Currency, rare currency... Artifact, rare weapon, back size is okay. I don't think I saw, okay, there's double pack size. I don't know if pack size is debate or not, but uh, there's not really much to get here except for quantity. Quantity and pack size, I think. So let's start with here and hit these set of runic with the pack size. There's one runic over here. I'm going to move my way over here because I think we want to try to get this. I must but time there was also quantity down here. Or it was a double... Oh, it's double pack size. We'll go this way, actually. Um, okay, can it not hit it? There we go. Okay, and that's what... That's fine. That's calling strike. Grab these three runic. Actually, is that the... Uh, yeah, no, that doesn't matter. So we'll grab these three runic, come up here. Yeah, I'll take it. Extra chaos is kind of spooked, but I have really good chaos res, so it's not too bad. 
and then I think I probably should have went down there but I'm not gonna make this a 20 minute video so it doesn't really matter we'll just go here and then sure where is it my mana is spent So the reason I'm doing Expedition is to get currency for ROG to craft the shield. Also, just the potential of gambling some chase items would be pretty nice. Um, so you've got like Aegis Aurora on there, Mage Blood, Headhunter. Um, something else is I've never really done logbooks this league, and I have like maybe eight logbooks saved up, I think. So logbooks are pretty fun uh, from what I hear. So that's definitely something I wanted to experience. The only thing I don't like about Legion is it feels really bad, in my opinion, to clear, like, Legion with RF. It's probably because I'm not Explode Setup. Explode Setup feels pretty good. But I guess this is okay. I cleared majority of it. What are we missing? Yeah. So the reason I'm doing Legion is because I really want to get a Brutal Restraint. Brutal Restraint uh, will fix issues and potentially give a source of onslaught and a source of frenzy charges uh, and it gives me a chance to do more like legion four ways since i usually never do stuff like that so all right good enough so uh, i respect out of the whole bossing stuff essentially which was like boss rushing with the uh, connected map to map and we went full legion and almost full expedition for the most part uh, i just didn't grab this stuff down here so some other stuff that we have is um i did actually find a usable watcher's eye off an elder kill which was pretty cool uh that was something i got to check off the box i don't know if i'm ever going to use this but just getting a determination malevolence watcher's eye was pretty pretty cool um yeah, I think that's pretty much majority of it. There's two other things, which is I did get lucky and we hit 221 gems. Finally, uh, after a big volling session where I guess it's not super big, but these are all the RFs we've all that bricked and fire traps. I finally hit a 21 and a 21. So I got basically double 21s, uh, which was really, really nice. And then I found a nine passive item level 83. I wish it was 84, but 83 works large cluster so if i do want to go for a cluster setup this is the cluster i will essentially try to craft uh for my master of fire anyway though that's pretty much going to be about it i have like a severe toothache so i apologize if uh, it took a little bit longer to make the video so i'll catch you guys all later remember if you enjoyed the video please feel free to like share and subscribe and don't forget you can catch me streaming live every day but sundays at twitch.tv slash box take care see you guys all tomorrow